Welcome back to Garage Shop Science. In exactly eight weeks, my wife and I will be setting out on a 1600 mile journey from St. Louis, Missouri to Glacier National Park. During the entire trip, we're going to be living out of this trailer. I guess I have some work to do. I think it'll work. What you think? Honey? Before I start building anything, the trailer frame needs to be disassembled and prepped because I purchased a used trailer. The trailer originally had side rails that needed to be cut and ground smooth. After disassembly, I decided that the suspension was too rusty to trust and should be replaced before taking the trailer on a 3,000 mile trip. Some parts of the suspension required some convincing to be removed. After fully disassembling the trailer, I removed as much rust as possible with a wire wheel. I then sanded all the metal as best I could and painted everything with a primer designed to be used on rusty metal. After everything was primed, leveling jacks were installed in all four corners of the frame. To mount the jacks, a single hole was measured and drilled. The jack was then temporarily installed so the second hole could be match drilled. After the holes were drilled, the exposed metal was primed and the jacks were fully installed. With the jacks installed and the frame primed, it's now time to paint the frame in its final color and start the final assembly process. To assemble the new suspension, first attach the leaf springs to the axle, leaving the mounting bolts slightly loose. Then attach the leaf springs to the frame, fully tightening these bolts. With the axle fully attached to the frame, add Loctite to each U-bolt nut. Measure the axle to verify alignment, and then fully tighten down each bolt. When tightening down the bolts, make sure to alternate between each bolt and not tighten down any one all the way before all of them are ready to be tightened. With the axles and wheels installed, the frame is ready to be built into a camper that can be driven mile after mile. Well, I don't know if it's actually better or not. It seems like it might be a little bit better, but either way, with the new springs on it, I'm more comfortable driving it 1,600 miles than I was before. So, was there was there anything I screwed up? Let me know down in the comments. If you like this video and want to see more like it and see me finish this project, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching.